Hi guys, it's me Pia Pai. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about how to get shortlisted to the airline that you want to work for. Just imagine guys when you are already on the first day and I know that you have the potential and maybe you are so prepared already but only to know that you are not given the chance to prove yourself. So it's going to be a waste of time. That's what I felt as well when I was going through my application process back then. Now, if you're new here, by the way, my name is Pia Pai and I'm an international flight attendant based in the Middle East and I do travel vlogs, cabin crew tips and stuff like that. So if you want to get updated with me, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get updates whenever I upload a new video like this. A lot of people are actually having a hard time going through shortlisting process and I do understand the frustration guys because I've gone through that experience as well because in the previous um, applications of mine, I also had three mistakes. Imagine three mistakes or three tries before I finally got the job. And it took me some time before I was able to actually um, get my dream job. So today I'll be sharing you my own personal experience as well as I'll give you tips on how to get noticed by the recruiters itself. So let's define what is a shortlisting process. Shortlisting means it's the first stage of the recruitment process before they will let you go for the assessment stage. And normally when an airline announces that they're going to recruit cabin crew, trust me guys, it's going to be a lot of people. And when I say a lot, it means thousands of them. So. Um, yes, it is really very important for you to get noticed by the recruiters itself. But how do we really do it when there's a lot of competition out there, right? So today I'll be sharing with you my tips and tricks on how you can get recognized by the recruiters. The reason why an airline makes a shortlisting process, it is because they cannot accommodate thousands of you guys to go for the assessment stage. So what they do is they're just going to pick a few people to go for the next interview or the next stage. Like in my case, um, we applied, I think there were 700 of us when we applied for the position and there were only 70 people who got the call and got invited for the next stage of the uh, recruitment process. So you, you, you see what I mean now when I say you're shortlisting, that means it's the first appearance and the first chance for you to get noticed by the recruiters. Just imagine guys when you are already on the first day and I know that you have the potential and maybe you are so prepared already but only to know that you are not given the chance to prove yourself. So it's going to be a waste of time. That's what I felt as well when I was going through my application process back then. So now let's go for the first tip that I'll be sharing with you. So let's talk about the photographs of the pictures that you will be submitting to the recruiters. Um, normally airlines, they would um, give instructions on what kind of photo you should submit to them. So make sure you follow the instruction. If they say blue background, you should put blue background. If they say business attire, it should be business attire. Do not just wear anything you want or just grab whatever photo you have on Facebook, which is what I did before, which was also a mistake of mine. So do not just grab anything from from whichever uh, social media that you have and then just uh, send it to the recruiters because it doesn't look professional. And at the same time, it shows to the recruiters that you don't know how to follow instructions. So make sure you invest in the photographs and um, go for a studio that has very good lighting so that um, when you print it, you can uh, present it to the recruiters. So for your photo appearance, make sure you wear a business attire, whatever the airline is actually asking you to do. For the ladies, make sure you wear a knee length uh, skirt at the same time, a short sleeve blouse perhaps. Uh, make sure it's also in business attire, um, the ones with a big button here. 
don't wear any t-shirts or stuff like that when I say short sleeve guys that means there are still sleeves on your blouse but it's only up to here but a no sleeveless piece because it doesn't look professional now for the guys make sure you wear a uh, business attire as well long pants with belt um, also wear um, a long sleeves and if you can just wear the necktie and make sure the tip of your necktie will only touch the buckle of your belt and not too short and not too long as well so make sure you present yourself properly on the photo itself because this is one way for the recruiters to also convince them that you have this potential to become a flight attendant and also this is one way for them to recall those applicants that have the potential to become a cabin crew so also for the ladies make sure you wear a close high heeled shoes at least two inches will be good enough don't wear any sandals or flip flops because it does it doesn't look professional when you have the business attire and also put your hair neatly tied back or you can also put it in a bun if you want to and also the most important part is your makeup for the ladies so make sure you wear a very nice makeup and a nice shade of lipstick I would suggest a pink or a red lipstick it really looks very good on the camera and make sure you smile on the camera at the same time you look very relaxed okay the CV is actually not that very important guys when you apply to become a flight attendant trust me I, I, I don't have a very uh, related course when it comes to my background when I applied to become a flight attendant and my CV was also a mess so uh, you don't have to worry about what kind of CV you should put there. So what I can suggest to you here is just to submit one to two pages of your CV at the same time you can also put just important parts which are your abilities and your strengths and at the same time your previous experiences that's it. If you are a fresh graduate it's okay guys like I said, your strengths and abilities which is related to the job description would be good enough. Let's go for the th third tip here. The business attire or the makeup for the ladies or your overall appearance. So if you don't have a lot of uh, business attire, what you can do is just use the same business attire for the entire um, recruitment process. It's okay guys, that's what I also did because I don't have much. So um, just make sure you wash it and you clean it properly for the next stages. Now make sure your business attire also complements your body. Not too big and not too small for you and make sure you are comfortable because it's going to be a very long day process. Also guys, try to find some clothing that is a polyester material or perhaps a clothing that is not too obvious when you sweat because I've seen a lot of uh, clothing that when you sweat it look it gives marks like your armpit or your back or what whichever part of your body that really sweats a lot uh, make sure um, you wear a nice comfortable clothing that doesn't give you any marks at all because um, when you are already stressed guys trust me you will sweat a lot and you don't want the recruiters to see how you sweat and, and how stressed you are so wear what is instructed by the airline. If the airline asks you to wear a business attire with a sleeveless or whatever, then do whatever they instruct you to do. Do not just wear whatever you want to wear because that gives an impression to the airline that you are not, you don't know how to follow instructions. So make sure you follow the instruction. If they say business attire, it has to be a business attire. Once again, for the ladies, make sure you wear a very nice makeup as well as a good shade of lipstick because this time it's going to be actual guys so make sure it doesn't look very cakey and don't overdo it guys um, make sure it looks professional as well because you're not going for a party you're going for an assessment or you're going for an interview so make sure you go there you look fresh and you look professional with the lipstick that you're wearing. I would suggest once again, pink or uh, a red lipstick would really, really do very good on the business attire. Also, don't wear any strong perfume. It will only distract the recruiters and other applicants itself. So make sure if you want your perfume, 
perfume person just wear a very small amount of it and then you're good to go now for the ladies make sure your hair is also neatly tied back so if your hair is like this you have to put this in in a bun so you twirl it at the back like this but if it's uh, shorter let's say half of this or let's say five inches then make sure uh, you just put this in a ponytail so your hair should be neatly tied back and if you, ha you have bobby pins or the hair pin we call it in the Philippines just make sure you tie it here and it looks clean put some spray as well if you can don't just go there uh, with the messy hair because um, an airline really has a very high standard of their grooming so make sure you tie it properly and make sure you put some uh, hairspray as well also wear a nice pair of shoes not too colorful guys uh, maybe you can go with the neutral colors perhaps gray brown or black or perhaps white but um, not the ones that are red or very flashy um, it distracts the attention of the recruiters and also um, maybe you can put a little bit of heels maybe two and two three inches would be good enough um, anyway when you go for your um, assessment day they, they will let you go on tiptoes for the height measurement or for the arm reach measurement so just make sure you wear high heel shoes um, don't wear any sandals or flip-flops once again so um, yeah that's it and so for the guys make sure you wear the necktie once again and make sure the tip of your necktie will only touch the buckle of your belt make sure you also wear a belt when you go for the interview also make sure you wear a long sleeve not the short sleeve because it doesn't look very nice when you're wearing a necktie but in a short sleeve so make sure you it matches okay um, also don't wear any uh, uh, jeans only just wear the proper one which is trouser which is for the business attire so now since we are talking about appearance here make sure you conceal whatever you can conceal this time um, if you have some scars a little bit of scars showing up here you can, uh, you can conceal it cover it but make sure it doesn't uh, transfer to your clothes as well because it doesn't make any sense when you're there already and you look very flawless but everything transfers in your in your clothing already so make sure um, you wear it properly don't put too much as well as uh, make sure it doesn't just transfer to your clothes so the fourth one that I'll be sharing with you would be this is really very important guys trust me if you are from India or in the Philippines guys this would be very very helpful and you can also ask other applicants who have been through the application process that there's going to be a lot of you who will be applying so what I can suggest is to come as early as possible perhaps two to three hours would be good enough if you can go early as that as early as that will be good enough but of course you will be so drained already so two three hours before that will be good enough so that you can get yourself seated because when you go there very late or maybe on time perhaps you'll be at the end of the of the queue already so make sure you go there maybe two three hours mm -hmm. uh, before the time so that um, by the moment the recruiters come you'll be the first in the line and also the last but not the least and the most disregarded aspect would be being friendly with other applicants as well as with the recruiters itself now guys i can't stress this enough that being friendly is actually part of being a cabin crew and um, if you're there being grumpy and just focusing on that one goal guys you're not gonna make it for sure so make sure you are there talking with other applicants but of course please be respectful do not be too loud and do not look like you're faking it so just make sure you're there talking to a few applicants because that will make the recruiters notice especially when you're already in the front they will see you how you communicate how you 
you handle or how you are dealing with other applicants. So make sure you know you do a little chit chats with with your fellow applicants, and it will also help you get noticed by the recruiters. Now when it comes to the impact interview guys, don't worry too much about it. Just make sure you answer it properly and don't be too nervous about it because it's just a very few seconds, maybe 30 seconds of your time. They're just gonna ask how you answer things. And normally the, the questions would be like, how are you, what, are you, what do you do or where do you work for stuff like that so just make sure you answer it very briefly and that's it you don't have to worry do not be scared guys because normally the recruiters are really very friendly and very approachable so you go there present yourself calm and relaxed all right so after everything and they're all done with all the applicants normally they're just gonna go to a certain room they will check all those um, resumes with pictures and they will recall who they want to call and go for the next interview. So I hope you guys got something from this video. I hope you got inspired again by this video that I'm making for you guys. Please make a comment down below if you want me to discuss about anything. I'll be more than happy to discuss it to you guys. And please, please, please um, share this video if you want to to your fellow applicants. And don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and 